in a bustling province encompassing two contrasting towns, Kemville and Pierville, there lived intriguing inhabitants who shaped the way of life in their respective communities. Five notorious characters set up shop in Kemville, Mr. RBGH, Mrs. Puss Milk, Dr. Antibiotics, Master Mastitis, and McNasty IGF-1, bringing change and disruption to the town's once serene existence. Mr. RBGH was a persuasive figure, promising increased productivity among the town's cows with his unique formula. At first, his presence seemed a blessing as the cows produced more milk, and the town thrived. However, this prosperity was short-lived. As Kemville's residents adjusted to their new routines, an unwelcome figure arrived in town, McNasty IGF-1, a notorious mercenary infamous in neighboring areas. He was known for partnering with Mr. RBGH, creating further chaos. McNasty IGF-1 was a tall, imposing man with a wicked grin. He bragged about his ability to enhance the potency of Mr. RBGH's effects. With him around, the cows became unnaturally large, their muscles bulging excessively. But his impact wasn't merely cosmetic. His presence seemed to amplify the adverse effects Mr. RBGH already introduced. The cows started limping due to a 55% increase in lameness, suffered a 40% increase in infertility, and experienced a 25% increase in clinical mastitis cases. McNasty IGF-1's influence didn't stop at the cowshed. Like Mr. RBGH, his impact seeped into milk and milk byproducts. Cheese, butter, cream, yogurt, and ice cream all bore his mark. Even simple pleasures like chocolate, candy bars, and cakes were not immune to his touch. Soon, Mrs. Puss Milk, an unwelcome relation of Mr. RBGH, appeared, contaminating the surplus milk. Her unappealing demeanor and the problems she caused made her notorious among the townsfolk. Hemville's once pristine milk was now suspect due to her meddling. Dr. Antibiotics then arrived, boasting his expertise in medical remedies. He suggested injecting his concoctions into the cows would mitigate Mrs. Puss Milk's influence. Regrettably, his solutions had side effects, altering the milk's taste and causing illness among the villagers. Soon after, Master Mastitis entered the scene, known as Mr. RBGH's close associate. He inflicted pain and illness among the town's cows, which greatly worried the residents. As the cows exhibited symptoms, Kemville's tranquility was ruined. In contrast, Pureville, the neighboring town, thrived on tradition and had avoided such controversial characters. They had heard of Mr. RBGH but opted to follow time-honored methods, emphasizing their cows' well-being. When Kemville's residents noticed Pureville's superior milk quality, they sought advice. The Pureville farmers shared their secret, stop heeding Mr. RBGH's false promises. Happy cows produce healthy milk, so commit to the cow's health and defend against intruders like Mr. RBGH, Mrs. Puss Milk, Dr. Antibiotics, and Master Mastitis. Taking this wisdom to heart, Kemville banned Mr. RBGH, reduced their reliance on Dr. Antibiotics, and vowed to take better care of their cows to ward off Mrs. Puss Milk and Master Mastitis. In time, Kemville's milk quality improved dramatically. While it required dedication and a strong commitment to the cow's welfare, the town learned the invaluable lesson of respecting natural processes and avoiding harmful chemical interference. This tale served as a powerful allegory about the dangers of unsolicited chemical intervention and the importance of nurturing health through natural means.